Hello, everyone, and welcome to Light Language Messenger. And of course, if you're joining us um, from or on the Great Awakening Generator, thank you very much, and welcome to you as well. So good to be talking to you today. I had not put out a Light Language message yesterday, and um, I'll tell you why. I have just had the last 48 hours of feeling really, really drained and unwell and just not able to get up and sit in front of the computer. Now, for whatever reason it is, be it ascension symptoms, be it just that, hey, you know, a um, a, a sickness that I might have or that I've had for years is acting up because, you know, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid years ago. I just didn't have the energy to do it. And so today you kind of get a double whammy because whilst I've been in the state, and I think that the state is there for good reason, once I've been in the state, I, I had a dream because um, remember that I have been um, doing the cards and the light language this week out of the magic of unicorns oracle cards by Diana Cooper. But I had a dream that I had pulled a card out of the Beyond Lemuria oracle deck. So it's really speaking, isn't it? But I'm going to talk more about that in that video because I will do a video for that. I just want to continue in this video for today, um, which I'll release very shortly. Um, the next card following the last one we did from this deck, which was the enlightenment card, right? We're talking about coming, getting in touch with ourselves and our dreams and, and living it up um, and living it up in a positive way, not living it up in an you know, in a way that is irresponsible, anything like that. And hey, we should be living it up, don't you think? Of course, we should be living it up. Now, in this time that I've been out of kilter, out of action, and I spent most of uh, yesterday lying down, uh, I've been getting a lot of downloads. And it seems like it kind of started just before I did the interview with Jane Scarrett. And remember, if you watch the interview on the Great Awakening Gen Generator with Jane Scarrett, she suddenly gave me a reading out of new, and it was what I gather numerology because I have been, um, I had just taken my book. Uh, I got this book by Glennis McCants. Glennis McCants, this one called, this is the book, and it's called Glennis Has Your Number. And I'd taken the book out and there were certain things that I, was, I felt guided and led to, to go back and find out about my numerology. And there was Jane suddenly offering me this um, stuff out of my, uh, my date of birth or telling me some stuff. And it was really sounding very, new, very much like numerology. And then she came back to me later on and she gave me some information. And then I just felt like it was all so apt and so speaking of the numerology. So that's what I have been finding. Now, in this time, and I'm coming back to why I brought up the book, Glennis Has Your Number, because in this time that I started doing the cards, I felt led to go back and read my numerology, okay? And so that's where it is. Now, I'm not going to talk any more about the numerology here. I'm going to talk about it when we do the next recording, which is coming up not very long after this one, and it's from the Beyond Lemuria deck, I was guided. After I had the dream, I thought, in my sleep state on, when was that? Wednesday night, I was pulling a card out from the Beyond Lemuria deck. And I did go and I pulled out a card and I thought, oh, this card, this, maybe this is not for the collective, but I've been asked to read it and I'll do that in the next one. Okay, right. And there I'll give you a little bit more information about my journey here and about the numerology. Okay, let's talk about today's card for us. Today's card, I'm going to share my screen. It continues this thing of finding yourself, reconnecting with your dreams, and living your best life. Okay, so I'm just going to stop here for a minute and bring back the musician's mode on my screen, and then I will do the share again. <clears throat> okay, here's our card. It's a beautiful card, uh, as you can see. It's got a lilac, a unicorn with a lilac color about it, and it reminds me very much of my unicorn, Stellanite. My Stellanite has got lilac eyes, lilac wings, lilac sheen, lilac through the, the tail, of just all of it, through the, through the wings, all of that. 
And so just looking at this card, I feel like there are orbs, there are silver orbs in here. There's a person walking out of a doorstep onto this beautiful grass that's got golden orbs. There's a big golden orb there. And there's a rainbow. Okay, started already, okay? This card is the number five card. It's called New Opportunities. It says declutter your life and glimpse a magical doorway. Now, our previous card was Enlightenment. And I feel like that card was so apt because the Enlightenment was to enlighten us about the things that we might be missing in our world uh, or in our lives personally that's make, that, that we need to make the connection to what it is that we need to be doing in order to achieve our dreams and come through and be uh, having fun with this lifetime. Yeah? I'm going to read what number five card means out of the book and then we're going to do some language. When you declutter your cupboards, you create space for the new to come in. Your guidance is to tidy up your life now this doesn't just refer to the physical stuff. A clear art also releases unhelpful thought patterns and emotional attachments. It re-energizes you in the same way that pruning a rose bush encourages the plant to grow bigger and bloom more prolifically than before. This unicorn card suggests it is time for a physical, emotional and mental sort out. Are your job, home, relationships and friendships, hobbies and beliefs serving your spiritual path? Do they fulfill and satisfy you? Do they support you and bring you love and joy? Look carefully and honestly at every area of your life. If you are hanging on to the old because it feels safe and familiar, your unicorn is reminding you that when you weed the garden of your life, it will regenerate. So take the decision to declutter now. When you are ready, yes, get into your space. And when you are ready, ask your unicorn to raise your frequency so that anything new that flows in is a better quality than that wa that which was that you have released. Ask your unicorn to bathe you in its light. For the brighter your aura, the more wonderful the new will be. You are creating an opportunity to step through a magical doorway into a sunlit future. Right. Here is a, an, a, a practice that you can do to clear the old and glimpse the magic. First one, write down the different areas of your life, such as job, relationships, family, home, holidays, hobbies, and beliefs. Rate each one zero from zero to 10 in terms of satisfaction and joy zero obviously being the lowest f the lowest feeling or lowest vibrational feeling and 10 being the highest close your eyes and sense your unicorn beside you Ask it to bless you with the qualities you need in order to release anyone or anything that is not serving your well-being. Then actively declutter your life. Look for the magical door to the new opportunities that wait. The affirmation today is... I am preparing for new opportunities. 
I am preparing for new opportunities. I am preparing for new opportunities. Well, friends, perhaps have a look at this card again. Tiela, Cholomala, Chalana, Nalakalona, Nalabaro, Tololo, La Salela, La Veclo. Telekatotolomai, Tamala Catafate, Nakoro. In the distance, there seems to be a castle on a hill. In the distance, there's lights that look like they're lighting up a pathway. Ura Catalele Catamolo, Aya, Hua Cutanamahe. I'm going to stop share and we'll talk a little. Kola maki safala na hola he na hola he malevete tolona te akila kutolona tafara ke kola maki tamara katafane hola he na vola kiam yelo kusama samala kacho. Friends, I'm going to expand a little bit more in the next video, but I want to say to you. Have a look and see what it is that you need to declutter. Alama sefukotana kalakachela matoto toro makai tapara nakototo. Let's do a few minutes, so a minute or two of some language before we say our intention is here to help us, to guide us through that whole exercise so that we can come into the place of releasing. Not only will we be releasing, but we will know what areas we need to declutter in our lives. We're looking for guidance in terms of that. We will know how to rate it honestly. We will go within ourselves and look at areas we're not looking at. We're refusing to look at. Oh, <laughs> Look into your life and look at the relationships that are not serving you. Why do we have to continue with relationships? What is the obligation we feel to continue with, oblig with relationships that no longer serve us? With relationships that drain us, sama le kito lo makala vatota, ene ke la kato poro na vakichala makutota. What about those those thoughts you have that you're wondering about about things that don't serve you anymore, about things that you're never gonna have an answer to until you have clear conversation, for example. Ara kuto na kata dala matoto wari kata na karashta le kito dala sa kito do ila kato toro rara kita la maio. Oh, Mahela Zavala Kachena Kare. Oh, look at Dena Karate. Tofarai Yakulomateke. Homla Hela Makota here. Sekiro Kotana Nava Kishina Mato Taramahi Lamaho Nakata Itaramaho. I am. Oh, la Lava la 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 Gino ma gino ma tsukera ma to na ya hua hi ho la ma ko fa ta ne la ko che wa la sa ma ro tsa na ke friends let today be the day that you stop and think about what area in your life it is that you need a clean up on or a clean out of? It's interesting, whilst we're going through this, I'm going through my own journey with all of us here. And I'm going through some stuff that's really making me stop. And, <laughs> and of course, I couldn't do a recording yesterday, but it's all for good measure and good purpose. Some of you out there might be feeling these things. And I feel like you understand what that is. And we are clearing. We're clearing the karma. We're clearing the, the residue of things that ancestors have gone through. Things are sticking in our faces because we need to deal with it. And I know for me, I for sure know that I have not been dealing with things in my life. I could do anything else. 
but do deal with the things I need to in my life. And right now I need to deal with some stuff, like really deal with some stuff. Friends, stay safe, be happy, be joyous. It's not long before we go when we will see breakthrough. I promise. Namaste.